Welcome back, Royal Priesthood family, to All Things Possible, prophetic brand with yours truly, Prophetess Sika Esther Grace. Lord, we bless you for this day that you have made. We choose to rejoice and be glad in it. Holy Spirit, you are welcome. I decrease so that you will increase. Come and do what you do. I pray that all hearts and minds are clear. I pray in the name of Jesus that God anoints us afresh so that we can hear what the spirit of the Lord has to say. I pray the blessings upon my royal priesthood family that make it rich and add no sorrow. I pray the anointing for grace to get whatever God has set before them done successfully. I pray in the name of Jesus, the finisher anointing be upon them this year, that they will be able to accomplish great things and they will be able to see what they have accomplished for such a time as this. God, we give you all the glory, honor and praise on this day in Jesus name. Amen. You see the title of today's message, you all weep no more. This is a very personal testimony of mine. And I know I have a lot of amen corners. Um, you know, life itself can just make you weep. Life itself can bring so much sorrow and despair. And, and, and sometimes you can feel like God is nowhere near. You can feel just so hopeless and emptiness, but emptiness. And, 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 and you can feel just like giving up, you know, and some of us have literally gave up. And some of us have literally said, you know what? I can't do this anymore. It's too much. But today is a, a prophetic hope and declaration that the father has allowed me to release over the airwaves. And I do want to make a disclaimer. You will test the spirit by the spirit, but you will know without a shadow of a doubt that this word is for you. You won't need much convincing. I won't even need to do much exhortation, but the Lord will bear witness with your spirit. It will a, a, a spirit of calmness. Glory be to God will come upon you that anxiety will leave you literally the, the moment you begin to hear the spirit of the Lord out of my mouth the words that he's decreeing and declaring for such a time as this you will be able to sleep well for the first time sometimes some of you all in months you have you have been tossing and turning and you've been having anxiety and insomnia You've been concerned about some things and even borderline just worried about some things. But the spirit of the Lord is saying to you today, weep no more. Weep no more. Glory be to God. Psalms 126 and 5 verse through 6. Psalms 56 and 8. Psalms 30 and 5 will be our foundational scriptures. I'm going to say it again. Glory be to God. Psalms 126 verses 5 through 6, Psalms 56 verse 8, Psalms 30 and 5. Go with me to the word of the Lord. Psalms 126, 5 through 6. I'm going to be reading this from the New Living Translation version. Those who plant in tears will harvest with shouts of joy. Glory be to God. They weep as they go to plant their seed. Your, 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 your eyes are filled with tears. You're in sorrow. You're in despair. You're weeping while you're planting. But they sing as they return with harvest. Glory be to God. Psalms 56 and 8. I'm going to read this out the Message Bible. You've kept track of every toss and turn through the sleepless nights. Thank you, Lord. Each tear entered in your ledger. That means he recorded it. It wasn't even in vain. Each uh, ache, each pain written in your book. God kept a record. Thank you, Jesus. Psalms 30 and 5. I'm going to read it out the Amplified Version. For his God anger is but for a moment. Thank you, Lord. His favor is for a lifetime. Weeping may endure for a night. Oh, some of us been in a long night season, but I'm here to let you know a shout of joy comes in the morning. Your morning has come. Glory be to God. See, God's ability to restore life is beyond our natural understanding. Yet forests and trees burn down and are able to grow back and, 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 and broken bones heal. Mm. 
Even grief is not a permanent condition. Thank you, Father. Our tears can be seeds that will eventually grow into a harvest of joy, a harvest of restoration, a harvest of healing and a testimony because our God, our God is able to bring good out of every tragedy. I'm going to say that again. The God that we serve, he has the ability and capability to bring good out of every tragedy that we face. Something good is going to come out of this. I said something good is going to come out of this. See, the devil meant it to destroy us. He even meant it to kill us. He even meant it to take us out. But God will use that destruction. God will use that hardship. He will use that pain. He will use that sleepless nights. He will use that wandering. He will use that confusion and rejection and hopelessness. Glory be to God for our good. His glory. For his, for his glory and, and for our good. See, God is able to do. You're going to hear me say this often. That's a prophecy, y'all. That's a promise. God is able to do exceedingly and abundantly above all that we can ever ask or think according to the power that's within us. I'm here to testify to my royal priesthood family. I'm here to prophesy. I'm here to sound the prophetic alarm that it is an after this. I am a living witness. I'm living in the after this. I'm living in the after the sleep this night after the many years of wondering after the hardship after the pain after the rejection after the abandonment but the joy that I'm experiencing now glory be to God the restoration and restitution oh my God the glory the anointing the new opportunities and doors cannot even compare to what I just been through see today last week even last month and for many of you all last year you were so burdened by sorrow and disappointments and setback after setback. The time you moved forward, you, you got knocked back 10 times. Yet today, the, the spirit of the Lord is prophetically decreeing, declaring out of my mouth, it will end. Oh, it will come to pass. Your joy will find you again. Hallelujah. You will laugh again. Oh, yes, Lord. You will live again. Ah, God, I prophesy the Ruah, which is the breath of God upon you right now. The breath of God in you right now. The breath of God around you right now. See, your better and your best is still ahead. Oh, yes, it is. Your better and and your best days are still ahead. God's great harvest of joy is coming, is coming. Glory be to God. See, even in our deepest sorrow, mm, God cares. The enemy will make you think that God uh, he don't care about you because if he cared about you, you wouldn't be going through this and you wouldn't be going through that. We know that he never promised us that the road would be easy. He never promised us that we would have a life of, 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 of free from trials and errors. But he did promise to deliver us. He did promise to never leave us nor forsake us. Glory be to God. So he cares even right now. He's by your side. Jesus reminded us like this. See, see, God cares so much for us and he understands us and, and, and that he's willing to, to, to uh, deliver us that he even knows the number of hairs on our heads. According to Matthew 10 and 30, what an intimate father, what a hands on God where he knows the number of hairs on your head. I don't know about you, but I don't even know the number of hairs on my head, <laughs> but God knows he's very detailed. He's, he's very mindful. He's very cautious about you. Glory be to God. See, often when you begin to waver between faith and fear, cause that's one thing about when you're in a trial and when you're in a situation and when you're going through the storms of life. And when you're dealing with so much, you your faith wavers a little bit and, and it, it goes from faith to fear. You know, you have a fear moment and you then you go back to faith and then you have a fear moment. It's, it, it's like tossing to and flow. 
fro. But when you're feeling discouraged and you are not really certain, or you, you just don't understand why all of this is happening to you. You got to know that you know that you know you serve a God that knows everything. You serve a God that has the problem already worked out. He already has your way of escape. He's not in heaven trying to figure this thing out. He's not in heaven trying to wonder, is my child going to get out of this? How am I going to do this for my child? No, 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 no. He already knows the end of a thing before the very beginning. So every tear and every sorrow and every despair, he promised you joy. He promised you redemption. He promised you peace that surpass of all understanding. See, he already has that joy of healing. Glory be to God. He already has that restoration. Even the time you lost in those years of wondering, he shall redeem it for nothing will be wasted. Glory be to God. So I say to my royal priesthood family today, weep no more. Weep no more. You will have a testimony. Hear the spirit of the Lord. You will have a testimony that it was nobody but God that brought me out of this. You will have a testimony that I wept for years. I wept for months about that thing. Every time I turned around, I just kept crying and I just kept crying and I try to let it go and I try to forget about it. And it just kept coming on me. And one day I went to bed and I woke up and I just forgot about it. I begin to laugh again. Glory be to God. I begin to live again. Glory be to God for my sisters in Christ. And some of you all are just at that place where you are so low that you don't even fix up on yourself like you used to. You don't even care about what you put on. You don't even care what you look like. That spirit of oppression and depression has your identity and has your confidence grip and it has your confidence just so stagnant. But the devil is a liar. I command you to get up out of that ashes and I release the beauty of the Lord to be upon your countenance. I release in the name of Jesus, the beauty of the Lord to be up, uh, upon your persona and even upon your dress code. I release confidence back into you in the name of Jesus. I command your spirit of confidence to come up right now in the name of Jesus. And for my brother in Christ, glory be to God. You just feel low. You feel sluggish. You don't even feel like doing anything but laying on the couch. I command you to live again. I prophesy to those dry bones in your life. I breathe the Ruah of God, which is the breath of God back into your manhood. I command the King in you to come forth in the name of Jesus. I command the mind of Christ in you to live again. I command those thoughts and ambitions to live again. Those dreams and those visions to live again. I command your countenance to come back into the glory of the Lord. I command you man of valor. Here come glory be to God. King, I command command you to come forth right now in the name of Jesus. I prophetically decree and declare an end to your tears in the name of Jesus. Weep no more. Weep no more. And remember, Jesus is Lord. Glory be to God. Amen.